What's going on? What's the deal? What's up, XX family? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I probably look a little stressed. So let me explain why. Today, we're gonna go over maintaining your psychology when you're in an open trade. And also, I, I think I found the secret to winning every trade, bro. I'm gonna tell you exactly what that is in a second. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and jump into these charts. And I'm gonna show you exactly how my trading day went and how I was stressed, but able to, to, to keep my composure in this trade. All right, so I'll see y'all in the charts. All right, y'all, so let's, let's go ahead and check out what we got today, right? So, number one, I had a risky trade today, right? Very risky trade. I I want, I mean, I lost my first trade, and I'm gonna show you exactly why. So, I trade GJ, right? On a daily time frame, we are clearly in a downtrend, right? We're clearly in a downtrend. Uh, we broke out of the trend and uh, came down to retest. Broke through this support right here. Now we're at this support. So I'm kind of counter trend trading, right? Drew a fib from this uh, engulfing bullish candle up here. Uh, and we have a 618 rejection, right? So I came to the 15 minute time frame. Uh, my first trade was right here, right at the bottom of this little uh zone right here. I took a buy, right? Why? Because we're at a major support, right? So if you look in the past. When it did, when it came down to this support, what did it do? It went back up. What did it do? It went back up. Because that's what supports are for, right? Not today, I guess. So I took a buy. Stopped me out. I had like a 10 pip stop. Which probably wasn't the smartest either. And then let me take y'all through this trade that I was in for literally, what time is it? Two o'clock, so I've been in that trade for three hours just to, uh, just to, so I lost 2% on this trade, made 1% on this trade I took. So I'm down, uh, what, 1% today, which is perfectly fine. It's my first trading day of the week. So, boom. I came down to the five minute time frame. And what did we have? If I delete this trend line real quick. So let me tell you why I took a buy where I took it, which is where that green starts. Uh, hold on. I believe it was like this, right? So boom, we clearly like found the the low of the day, which was what, uh, 150.54, right? We found a low, so I'm like, all right, cool. You know, let me put my stop loss under there and wait for buys, cause I'm, I'm looking for the retrace at this point. Like if it if it's going down the way it did, like over two hundred pips in a day, is bound to retrace. Um, which is counter trend trading, but hey, everyone has their own style. Um, so I sat in this trade, right? I got in this trade. Uh, where was it? Like, no, up here, right? Because we're clearly, like, making 
new highs on the lower time frame, on the five minute, which was kind of dumb of me to take an entry off the five minute anyway. But so boom, got in here. Uh, I think I was like, so my my target was forty pips. Uh, just to come back to this uh little consolidation zone, that was my target. Uh, but and when I got in, you know, we went up what like twelve pips or something, and then just dropped right, and we're down at this little little mini mini support again. And I'm like, bruh, like, come on, bro. But the only thing that kept me going was the fact that it was holding. And then we had this big push up, right? So I'm like, all right, boom, cool. We good. You know what I mean? We good. We solid. We got up to this resistance again. Came back down. But we had, we, you know, we, we were above the eight. So I'm like, we still good, bro. Came back up, tested this, dropped again, right? This time we dropped below the eight. Now we're below the eight and the 50. And at this point, I'm like, bro, like, I'm like, should I get out at break even? You know what I mean? But I'm like, nah. Let, let, let's keep holding it, right? Because at this point, I'm scared, like, it's just going to drop. You know what I mean? And then I adjust this trend line over a little bit, right? So boom. And actually when when it when it got up here the second time, I'm like, you know what? Next time it comes up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna hedge. Right? Meaning I'm gonna take a sell up here and still be in my buy. Cause I'm like, you know what, you wanna fuck with me? Alright, but but <laughs> anyways, we came up. Right. And at this point, I'm like, bro, I've been sitting in this shit for hours. Like, should I pull out now? And this is the secret, bro. As soon as you want to fucking close the trade, put your phone down or close your laptop, whatever. Right. Because I'm like, remember what I just said about over here? I'm like, when it comes back up, I'm going to take a fucking sell and hedge and all this extra shit, you know, cause I feel like it keeps fucking with me, but I'm like, nope, you know what? Let me just hold it. Cause usually I would've just got out here because it's creating resistance. And my target's up here, I'm like, there's no way, right? Anyways, we broke through, right? And I'm still holding it. I'm still holding it. I'm like, bro, we, we can go hit my target. Then we drop again. <laughs> then we drop again and we go back up. We break this high. But at this point, I pull out. Now, why did I pull out? Because you have to look at like, like, yes, you want to wait for your trade to hit your target. But also you, you have to read the market like. Clearly, we're just consolidating. So it doesn't know what it wants to do at this point, like. Right now, it looks like it's about to drop back down into this zone. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just take my profits, right? I'm only down 1% for the day. I have the rest of the week. And uh, yeah, bro, like I I've literally been staring at the, the fucking chart for the past couple hours, which isn't, you know, the cool thing to do. You Normally, you want to place your trade and... and Go about your day, right? Like, you know, know how much you want to win, know how much you want to lose. Check up on it every now and then. But, you know, today was just one of those days. But um, I guess I guess what I'm trying to say is just like when you're in a trade, bro, almost pretend you're not even in a trade. Like be able to read what the market is doing. Um don't be like so stubborn you know obviously you want to wait for your trades to hit take profit or stop loss but don't be super stubborn to the point where you're not looking at what the market is doing like like normally if we broke out of this resistance the way we did we would have just kept going up but 
now we're retracing again. So me personally, I took my profit. I'm not waiting any longer. Like profit is profit at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Just always know where your targets are and be patient, bro. And for times like this, when you feel like you want to pull out, bro, just wait a little bit longer because that's when, that's when the move happens. As soon as you fucking give up, you know what I mean? So, and my entry was fucking terrible. <laughs> my entry was fucking terrible, guys. Like, another thing, wait, be patient, wait for a fucking setup. My entry should have been all the way down here. All the way down here, not up here. And, and what is that? I could have got out. Come on, bro. That would have made, made what I lost plus more. So, yeah, just patience, guys. Don't don't rush anything. Don't force anything. Sit on your hands when you're in the trade. And that's that, bro. All right, y'all. That's going to be it for this video, man. Hope y'all learned something. Make sure you, you know, you sit on your hands. Keep diamond hands, man. Uh, don't don't force anything, don't rush anything, man. You don't want trading to be stressful. You know what I mean? You you, you want it to just be smooth in and out. That's it, man. Uh, Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe. You know, become a part of the fucking gang, man. You know what I mean? Make sure you join the free telegram down below. And uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Uh, I do have more videos coming, so y'all stay tuned, man. And uh, I'll see y'all in another one. I'm out.